Hello and welcome. So we're given a scenario where we have a particle that is traveling along a straight line. It's going backwards and forwards, confined to a straight line. And we're given that the velocity of the particle, x dot, is equal to 1 minus 2 times the cos of the time t. And now uh, x represents the displacement of the particle and the t represents time and this notation x dot is in indicating that uh, it is a differentiation of the displacement with respect to time and we're also given that the initial displacement when t equals zero so x of zero is equal to three meters to the right of the origin so our first scenario is to find the initial velocity of the particle so find initial velocity. And just for clarity I'm going to write V for velocity is equal to x dot is equal to 1 minus 2 cos t. So V which is also dependent on time. So V of 0, V at t equals 0 is equal to 1 minus 2 times cos of 0. And cos of 0 is equal to 1. So we have here 1 minus 2, and which equals negative 1. So the initial velocity is motion towards the left at 1 meter per second. So the second part of the question, find the maximum velocity of the particle. So find max velocity and normally we could differentiate this expression which in effect gives us the acceleration of the particle and set the acceleration equal to zero which means there is no longer a change in velocity and so the either the velocity is going to be a maximum or a minimum but as a mathematician I'm feeling lazy and, and I think I can do this by inspection so let's do that so x dot is equal to 1 minus 2 cos t. Now this cos t part, cos of t can only be in the range from negative 1 to 1. So no matter what t is equal to, at either extreme cos can either be equal to negative 1 or 1. So the velocity where it's maximum is going to be when uh, cos of t is equal to negative 1 because we have 1 minus 2 times negative 1 is equal to 1 plus 2 which equals 3. So the maximum velocity is going to be 3 meters per second and that means the particle is going to be traveling towards the right. The third part of the question is to find the displacement with respect to time. So find displacement in terms of t. So I mentioned before that this x dot notation is equal to dx on dt and it's uh, equal to 1 minus co 2 cos t and what I can do now is to rearrange this equation a little bit so I'll get dx is equal to 1 minus 2 cos t dt and then I can integrate both sides so the integral of dx is simply x so the displacement and the integral of the right hand side will give me t minus 2 cos differentiates to, sorry, cos integrates this sign. So it's 2 sine t then plus an integration constant. But we're given at the beginning that the initial displacement is equal to 0, and that's what we need to find the constant c. So x of 0, so when t equals 0, so minus 2 sine 0 plus c is equal to 3 meters and sine of 0 is just equal to 0 
we leave out the zero, so all we have remaining is C is equal to 3. So our displacement in terms of T is equal to T minus 2 sine T plus 3. And the final part of the problem is to find the displacement when the particle is at rest for the first time. So find the displacement when V equals zero for the first time. So given that x dot t is equal to one minus two cos t and we set this equal to zero and what we're going to do is to solve this equation for t. So rearranging we'll get uh, cos of t is equal to negative 1 divided by negative 2 so that's just taking 1 to the other side and then dividing by negative 2 and that actually just equates to a half and uh, so solving I'll get t is equal to the inverse cos of a half and the first solution is pi on 3 so the particle is at rest or has a zero velocity when t equals pi on 3 and then to find the displacement we simply substitute this value of time into our displacement equation so we have x of pi on 3 is equal to pi on 3 minus 2 times sine of pi on 3 plus 3 and this evaluates to pi on 3 minus 2 times the root 3 of root 3 on 2 plus 3. The 2's will cancel each other out and uh, if we don't want to work this out numerically we're going to finally end up with pi on 3 minus the root 3 plus 3 meters. So when the particle is at rest for the first time it will have this value of displacement. So this was just a simple linear motion problem. If you have found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. Good luck and I'll see you on the next video. If you are currently studying math, please feel free to subscribe to my channel for future videos that may help you on exams or assignments. And as always, please feel free to ask me any question by commenting on any of the videos that you've seen. Thanks for watching and I hope you've learned something.